So another question that you asked me is how, is there any tricks by which we can recognize those that are in fact reptilians and they have a greenish gray skin and they have scales in certain places, particularly over the body and very small ears. Their eyes are somewhat larger than ours, but the pupil has a little slit. The four um, hints I can give you because obviously you will see what they want you to see. But the one thing that's hard for them to maintain is that eyes pupil. The pupil is the hardest thing for them to control, um, the image of it. So you will find often when you're looking at a TV personality, if you carefully hold your vision on their eyes, the eye will go back to the slit and then back to the pupil like a human and then back to a reptilian slit. You can see it going back and forth. And sometimes you will see the eye change color. Normally when that happens, they try and look down. But when they look up, you can see, whoa, that's not the way the eye looked five minutes ago. So the eyes are a giveaway. The next thing that's a giveaway is the temperature of the body. They're, they feel much colder when you touch them. The skin is way colder. They normally crave sun. The next thing that is a given is because even in disguise, what they eat has to be what they normally would eat. And they have to be carnivorous. In other words, they have to have meat included in their vegetarian diet. They cannot be only vegetarian. So if somebody is only vegetarian, and especially somebody that has been vegetarian for months, or years, in all likelihood they are human. So that would be the third thing to, to sort of line through the dot. Then the last thing is also very prominent giveaway. It's the movement of the tongue. If the tongue goes in and out of the mouth quite a bit, or the tongue brushes across the lips quite a bit, or the corner of the mouth, um, on a regular basis as this person talks or as they listen to you, that is reptilian tongue movements. So that is another thing to be aware of. They are normally very successful or very powerful or very beautiful because, you know, that's what they come in for to experience.